Hey you YouTube, have you ever wondered why some people play deck that reduce their own LP to zero? Well, you're lucky because today we're gonna cover that into our topics. So let's see what's the purpose of this deck. First, so we're not ranking up. People did this so they can play in the even, in the next even without playing it try hard because they're fighting in the lower ranks so they can earn more reward easier but hey why don't you just surrender to keep the rank lower uh, we're gonna cover that in the next topic clearing daily quest every day we got assigned three different quests on our daily quest consisting of summoning exist summoning fusion doing three spells two traps uh, win on duel normal summon etc yeah we basically use this deck to clear two traps, three spell, and usually I do it in the other one. I do it in solo mode, so I'm not ranking at all every day, but I still get my share of 120 gems every day consistently. How you do this? You keep taking the quest, the daily quest, until you get exactly that three quest. Then you clear it every day, only and only that three quests, spell, traps, and doing solo. That way, I'm really guaranteed to get my 120 gems every day from just the daily quest. Now, how does this deck work? Basically, you use every card that reduce your life point as much as possible. Here, my favorite cards are Cyberstain because it's instantly minus 5000, Cybernetics Fusion Reaction for minus half of your cure life point, Piri Race Map so it's like killing two birds in one stone because it's minus half of your life point. Then you can search for Gearbase Lord which requires you to pay 2000 to special summon it to the field. Then for the finisher, we usually use the traps like Destruction Destiny so we can mill 3 of our top decks and damage 1000 for each spell or traps milled to the graveyard. Are we gonna use Relay Soul so we can special summon Giant Kozaki from the hand, instantly destroy it, then we're instantly losing because Relay Soul effect when the monster is removed from the field by any means the user that use it instantly lose the duel so why the hell there's trap trick and impermanence and labyrinth barrage that's just there to make sure we can activate multiple traps in one turn so we instantly clear the two traps requirement for the daily quest about traps I also use Temple of the King so I can activate one trap directly in the first turn so I don't need to wait for the opening turn for self FTK. Without further ado, let's see how the decks played out. So here I open with Garbage Lord and Fusion support so I can immediately cut my life point to half. Then I use 2000 to special summon it. Using Psychic Sword, I'm paying 1900 life point. Then for the finisher, I'm using Destruction of Destiny to cut my life point based on how many spells and trap sent to graveyard. In this case, I already used two spells and one trap, so I only need to play around one more to finish my daily quest. Next, in this case, I open with um, no traps but for spells. I directly use Spirit Map because Spirit Map can only be used first thing on the turn like Pot of Extravagance. Then I use Chain Energy to get my left hand 500 every time I play cards from my hand. Then I use Giant Kozaki so I can just straight damage 2500 if Giant Kozaki sent to Graveyard. Yeah, this sums pretty much how we play this deck by just reducing our own life point to zero. Okay, that's it video for this time. See you next time and I'm out. Peace.